I'm Dan Ackerman. We are here taking a look at the Sony VAIO Duo 13. Uh, now, this looks like a 13-inch uh, slate-style tablet. Uh, a little bit thick for a tablet, but that is because uh, you take the Duo 13, you put it down on the table like this, take your finger, just lift up with one finger right here, and then look at that. You've got something that's kind of like a laptop or maybe like a little all-in-one PC. Uh, it's a concept that we've seen before, even from Sony. When Windows 8 first launched, they had an 11-inch version called the Duo 11. Now, the hinge on that model was a little bit more complicated. Uh, it wasn't quite as overall ergonomic. And we thought it was, a, it was a good idea, but the execution did not quite nail it. This new 13-inch version improves on a lot of things about it. Obviously, it has a bigger screen. I think the keyboard works better. Instead of a tiny little track point, they've actually managed to work a very small touchpad up in the front here that's better than not having any touchpad although it is a very shallow one. It's kind of a long rectangle, so not super great for navigating, but I definitely rather have that than nothing. Uh, Sony does manage to get one of Intel's new fourth generation Core i series processors in here, otherwise known by the code name Haswell, which makes this one of the first Haswell generation systems that we've seen. Sony actually has a couple of really thin, really light uh, 11 and 13 inch Ultrabook style laptops that also have those. And as traditional laptops, those are a lot more useful. Uh, this has the uh, bonus of being sort of a slate style tablet and something you can use on a desktop. I think the biggest flaw here is this screen. While you can uh, move it up and down, sort of like this when you fold it into tablet mode, it's not actually really adjustable. It doesn't stay at another angle. And I can't tilt it up any further than this. You can see the, the fairly extreme angle that it's at right here. Uh, so this angle may not work for you. If that's the case, then uh, you're pretty much out of luck. Uh, it's a cool experimental laptop. I like that it made a lot of improvements over the last generation. It starts at about $1,300 and up. That is a lot to ask people to pay for an experiment, uh, especially for something that may not be as universally useful as either a convertible tablet where you detach the screen or just a regular Ultrabook-style laptop. I'm Dan Ackerman, and that is the Sony VAIO Duo 13.